Welcome to another Business Tech Planet video. Today, we'll show you how to restrict users from sending emails in Outlook. If you want to restrict members of your organization from sending emails, start by opening Microsoft365.com and clicking on Admin. Or head up and click the App Launcher. Then select Admin from the drop-down. When the Admin Center loads, click Show All in the left menu. Then scroll down and select Exchange from the list of admin centers. Once you've opened Exchange, head to Mail Flow on the left. And select Rules from the Revealed options. Now click Add a Rule, and select Create a new rule from the list. Start by giving your rule a name. When you're done, click the Select box under Apply this rule if. Then select Sender from the drop-down. Now click the adjacent Select box, and choose Is External or External from the list. In the Select Sender Location pane, click the Select box, and make sure it's set to Inside the Organization. Then hit Save. Next, click the Select box under Do the following, and then choose to block the message from the list of options. Again, click the adjacent Select box, and this time, choose Reject the message and include an explanation. Under Specify Rejection Reason, explain why you've restricted emails. When you're done, hit Save. Now click Next at the bottom. On the next page, you'll find more options to manage how the rule is deployed. For example, if you want to enforce the rule for a specific time frame, click Activate and Deactivate this rule, and set a start and end date. But if you want to enforce the rule immediately and indefinitely, then head down and click Next at the bottom. Finally, hit Finish to create the rule. When complete, click Done. Whenever you create a rule, it will default to Disabled. To enable it, click Disabled next to the rule. Then head over to the pane on the right, and click the toggle under Enable or Disable rule. It will take a few moments to become enabled. But once you see the update message, your users will no longer be able to send emails. That's all for this video. If you found it helpful, why not buy us a coffee? We'd really appreciate it. And, you'd be helping us grow the channel. Remember to check the description for additional links and resources. And don't forget to subscribe for more Microsoft videos.